Right, we've finally got this thing working. The last one I did ended up all over the bloody bed because I've forgotten to tighten the Z, uh, the Y axis. Um, stepper motor, nut, cog, and uh, that made a right mess. So. I realised that um, the, the actual belt was slipping on the cog and now it's perfect and so I've adjusted the Z offset Carl and um, I think I've got a nice nice little platform that seems to be moving this, uh, this is the um, test for it and I'm on the left hand side and it's printing this uh, rather beautiful it's quite mesmerizing actually rather beautiful honeycomb matrix to make a cube and this is a bed level uh, test platform program G code and it seems to be Operating correctly, but we're only uh, 10 percent, nearly, yeah, 10 percent done. So we should, we shall see. But yeah, a couple of things uh, for anybody watching this: the um, the twin Z-axis thre threaded rods. Um, the brackets at the bottom, if you look, I don't know if we can see that. Uh, probably not. Um, in order, they've got to be, they've got to be um, level, and also they've got to be uh, equal on the on the extrusion. And the way I found on um, Thing Universe to do that was to drill a hole in the bloody middle and put an extra screw that went into a T nut on the on the extrusion going upwards so now they they are parallel so all that's all that's working and they and they keep they keep the same bloody height which is unbelievable the second thing is these rollers under here for the y axis on this extrusion people complain about them not being tight and the bed wobbling which is which doesn't help um, the thing that you do there is you squeeze all the rollers in before you tighten them up and then hold them there and then tighten them up and, and it's it's rock solid and that was another tip I picked up off um, Thing Universe. What else did I do? The belt tension, I, I, I honestly don't see what the problem with that is, it's, uh, it's, it's to do with alignment, if you align it properly, get it all set up, it's fine. Uh, a couple of more things, these two um, screw nuts, ball nuts for the trapezoid thread, um, you don't tighten them up very much, you loosen them a little bit and that, that just gives just enough play to, um, to uh, move them about and stop the bind any binding. Uh, what else? Um, the the auto height thingy, the blue thing on the uh, carriage there on the extruder, is um, is I think basically fundamentally required. Really, uh, it's it works wonders because it doesn't really matter if if the bed's a little bit off level. That that does a auto leveling at the beginning of a program and um, that sets it fine uh, as long as you've got it within. The correct two to three millimeters of the um, of the bed itself. So I think that you know that's 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 proving itself now. I try and get the light right on this to so you can see when it comes back off the final pass and goes back the other way. There you go. It's making a rather nice honeycomb pattern. Difficult to. Um, Difficult to show. I don't know whether it's better with the light off or not. Yeah, it probably is. Even though it's a fluorescent colour temperature. 
no stringing hardly just a couple of bits where I think I left a bit on the extruder from the from the mess um, yeah I'm quite impressed now quite impressed so that's uh, we'll come back at the end of the test and I'll take some photographs of the results I think the next thing I'll do is a calibration cube and then a benchy and we should be there see you later